All right, everybody, or the one person who watches this recording. Welcome to Mr. Chrome's tutorial on Discord. Now you're wondering why do we need to do a Discord tutorial? I'll tell you. Apparently, there are quite a few new people coming on to computer and converting from console, like I did this past year. And not many people know how to navigate it. I didn't even know how to navigate this thing until a long time ago. Uh, it takes some time to get used to. However, I am going to run through some basics of how you do this stuff. You can explore on your own, but I feel like why not make a tutorial because anyone who watches this will benefit from it. Discord is not that hard to navigate. So you can do it on your phone and you can do it on your computer. Yes, Discord has a mobile app. It's actually extremely useful. It's the way I add people when I'm on a live stream. So I'm going to maximize my Discord window here and show you some basics. So you have your homepage right here. On the homepage, it lists every individual person that you have added on Discord. And you even have your icons here to show you if they're online and what they're online with, whether it's a phone or they're just online with this green dot, which means they're on their computer. I can even scroll down, scroll up and down all through this list. These are all the people that I've added. And you can click on their name and see what they're up to. This is the this is a guy that left my Discord last night and I was talking to him. This is another guy that I just recently added. This lady is actually she's friends with like five, four other guys that I was playing with the other night. This besides the point. This is where you can see all the people that you've added and uh up here on your top right area this is where you can start a voice call with them a video call with them pin messages all this good stuff it's pretty basic however here's something that a lot of people don't realize you can come in here to your in to these channels right here on the, on the very far left corner just below home all these are different channels that you can join so like if you join one of these if you if you get invited to an individual channel like Mr. Chrome's channel, this is where it's going to be listed on the far left right here. These are all the different channels I've joined. Within these channels, there are individual areas you can go to, like the just chat. This is just, this is just where people can type in chat and do whatever they want. I've got images here where people have posted images, screenshots, highlights, promotions. This is what I use to promote my YouTube channel. And then down below are the voice chats. This is something you guys need to be aware of. Voice chats are extremely useful. Literally, all you have to do is click on it, and I've joined that voice chat. Anyone in that voice chat can now hear me and talk to me if they have a mic and speakers set up. And all you gotta do to exit the voice chat is down here, where it says voice connected. You have, oh, noise suppression. I didn't know they had noise suppression. That's cool. This is how you disconnect, though. That's it. You click on it, you're connected to your voice, disconnect, all that good stuff. Now let's go a little bit deeper into voice chat area. You can even turn on your own individual camera because mine's being used for this video right now. It's not going to work. You can also go to screen share. Screen share is extremely useful when you need to show people a tutorial or you're going to show them what you're playing. You can either stream your application like the Discord application, my window, my individual window, which is running OBS on my other monitor, or my Chroma Cam services, you can stream any of those applications, or to, to the right of the applications, this shit says screens. Now, I have three separate screens that I run. My main TV screen, and then my separate monitors. You can literally show anyone what you're doing. So, like, if I go to, if I go to screens here, and go to screen one. My screen one is my... Just like you see right here. My screen one is my TV. Now you're wondering, well, how do I get to this little setup right here? So if you click on voice chats, you gotta make sure you're actually clicked on the, uh, the actual... Like, the actual channel right here. You can click on the actual channel, and that's how you can connect to it, but on top of that, it'll list whatever's going on in that channel. So a voice channel 
is going to just list the people that are in it because obviously you're not typing. But yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty useful. I a lot of people keep on keep on going, "Well, how the heck do, does all this focus stuff work?" The focus is what brings up an individual person so you can see them like up close. You can even maximize it on the screen right here, full screen. You can also do pop out. Pop out, I don't use a whole lot. I'm not completely familiar with that. But the basics of navigating Discord are very easy. So like when you're when when you click out of it and you're like, "Oh crap, well how how do I see individual the individual people like I'm uh I I can't find out how to get back to this or whatever." Make sure you're in the individual channel again and if you're looking for a way to see this right here where you can see the individual people that you're talking to you need to make sure your channel is highlighted the actual channel you're in like the sub channel you're in is highlighted and you're going to be able to see this so i'm just going to disconnect from this because i can and that's that that's all there is to it guys it's really not that that hard to see and on top of that, you can come over to your right hand side and see all the people that are online. <sighs> Let's go back into some more basics on the home page. So from the home page, if you're looking to add someone, you come up here, add friends to DM. No, nope, that's not how you do it. Friends, here we go. Okay. It's right underneath, right to the right of the home page. Find or start a conversation. It's right here. Friends. You're going to come to friends. These are all the people on a bigger screen that you have added or taken away. These are the options where you find to do all your friends, the pending ones, the people that are pending. I don't know why he's still pending. The people you've blocked or you felt that you don't want to talk to anymore. And here's how you add friends. Notes this. This is a big misconception. You can't just tell them, well, here's my hashtag number. Just add that. You can't add that. It doesn't work that way. You have to get their entire name. So, like, my name is Mr. Period Space Chrome with a capital C, number 2114. If they added that, and if you add that, you will get my Discord. You will be, it will add my name, and I will get the notification that someone has added me. You need their entire name perfectly typed out because Discord is that specific. Pretty cool, huh? I think so. So, these are just some of the basic ways that you can navigate stuff, but I really feel like people need to realize you can actually join. This is this easy to join a voice chat. And then this is how you view the individual chatting areas and images and stuff like that. It's really not that hard. You just got to know what you're doing. All you got to do is click. And if you don't want to be connected to anything, come down here and disconnect. That easy. Now, here's the next part. How the heck do you connect a microphone and or a headphone for crying out loud? I'll show you. Bear with me if this is getting too long or if you've already gotten what you need, feel free to go play GTA. <laughs> User settings. This is how you find out what you're using, what your stuff sounds like. It is going to be down here in this left hand section your user settings. You can mute yourself or deafen yourself so that no one can hear you or you can't hear them. You come to your user settings. All this stuff is very in-depth, but I'm going to show you primarily how to do voice and video. Your, vid your input settings are right here. You have your drop down where it shows all the different input devices you have. This is for your voice. I'm using my Samsung Q2U microphone. I've also got my C922 Pro Stream webcam microphone. It has a microphone built into it. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Default. I think default just goes to whatever's plugged in. Like if it's just by itself. If you only have one device plugged in, I believe it defaults to the device plugged in. But I'm using my microphone. And then you have your output device. Make sure this is selected properly. The way you do this as you come down to let's check testing Test testing whoa, whoa. Okay. okay i can hear myself <laughs> so it'll play it'll play back a small sound for you to make sure that you can hear yourself and as long as you can you know you have the right speaker selected 
Then you can also do input mode, which is voice activity and push to talk. I personally don't really care for push to talk. I like to be able to talk and people just hear me flat out. Pretty easy. Now here's something that I think a lot of people... I, I, I don't use it personally, I don't like it, but apparently a lot of people do like this. Your game overlay. Not the game overlay. It's going to be in the appearance. Nope, not the appearance either. Voice and video. What the heck? Where was it? Is it, is it a game overlay? It is game overlay. Okay. So game overlay is when you're in game and like at the top left corner or something on your screen, you can see the people that you're talking to in your discord and they individually light up as you're talking. Apparently some people don't know how to do that. This is where you enable that. Once that's enabled, you're on your game screen, you'll be able to see who you're talking to and who's talking back to you as they light up. Sorry if my voice sounds like I'm nasally. I don't know what's going on with my nose right now. <sighs> Guys, I'm just trying to show you some basics of how to navigate this stuff. Because apparently, this is like rocket science to some new people. Granted, I was new once. This was rocket science to me at first. But fortunately for me, I have a loving wife who enjoys watching me enjoy my hobbies. So I was able to explore this as I needed to. So that's game overlay. Uh, use that as you want to. I think that about covers it for what I wanted people to see. Just general navigation, how to click in and out of voice chats, how to add a friend, stuff like that. Your individual channels. Remember, you can always come up here again to talk to individual people. And on top of that, if you make your own channel, here's how you add someone. Come to your drop-down menu from, your, from the channel you created. I have my channel, Mr. Chrome, here. You come down here and you simply press invite people. You need to make sure you know who you're inviting though and type in their name directly and simply invite them from here. Once that's sent over, they can click on it and they'll be thrown into your channel. <sighs> Am I going too fast? I didn't think so. This is just a lot of general information, guys. You don't need to watch all of it. I just feel like this tutorial might help some people who are having a hard time navigating Discord. Let me know if you are still having some issues navigating Discord, because I will be leaving my some of my contact info in the description below. So if you're still having a hard time with this, contact me directly on Discord or email me or use Social Club on, on uh, GTA, or you can follow me on Instagram. All those options will be down there. You will have a way to communicate with me if you still are having a hard time navigating this. And if I can't figure it out, then we'll figure it out together. This is Mr. Chrome coming to you from my front room studio. Have a good day.